Jazakallah khair, Brother Umar, Jazakallah khair, SCI, for the great work in this cause. Our program, as I said, is full of inspiring programs and sessions. Uh, however, we will be shifting some sessions if you have the program. Next in line was supposed to be a video conference live with al Mullah, which we will still have, inshallah, but we'll be push it, pushing it after Salat and Isha. Now, we're going to be addressed by a very inspiring person who was introduced to me just recently, and I started reading about his work, and Bismillah, inshallah. Sometimes you hear about people and what they're doing, and you feel very small when you see people are really sacrificing their time, their wealth, their knowledge, their expertise. And this is the true sadaqah and everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you. Everything, anything that you can benefit people with, you have to do sadaqah and you have to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the most important is those people are actually, could be sacrificing, sacrificing their lives, being in such war zones and danger zones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and help them. He's a former French military doctor and a NATO advisor. He's also an associate professor at the Val de Grace University. He taught medicine war in Lyon, in Paris, in Paris and in New York. Dr. Raphael Pitt is an expert in medical practice in the war zone, which when you think about it, it's rather a rather difficult job to be treating people in areas with, you know, hostile areas with bombs and, and, and gunshots and you need a lot of focus to do that. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help those that are trying to help people in such conditions. In September 2012, after hearing about the terrible condition in Syria and the difficulties that doctors and medical staffs are facing on the ground trying to help victims, Dr. Pitti decided to offer his expertise. I believe that his heart was touched and moved by what's happening and how people were deserted on the ground. Unfortunately, there are probably no official medical support that comes from the UN or comes from wherever. At least we don't hear about it. Maybe there's something that I'm not aware of, but we don't hear of serious movements to help people on the ground. So Dr. Rafael responded to that and he decided to offer his help and to go on the ground to train doctors to be able to deal with the condition there and help people on the ground and he also, as I was told, he helps himself in treating victims of that brutal attack on our beloved brothers and sisters in Syria. Dr. Rafael is with us today. Without further ado, it's a real pleasure to have you here, and we're honored to have you at the podium. Please welcome Dr. Rafael Pini. suffering so greatly over these last four years. Quand je regarde la salle, je vois qu'elle est essentiellement constituée de gens qui sont euh, peut-être très proches de la Syrie, qui ont de la famille en Syrie. Et donc vous êtes déjà convaincu parce que vous êtes ici ce soir. As I look into the crowd, I can see uh, many people who have probably been touched by, uh, you know, uh, the, the events in Syria or possibly have close loved ones there. So, again, I don't feel like I need to convince you. Je rêve d'être devant une salle 
de gens qui ne sont pas convaincus pourquoi il faut aider la Syrie. I dream of having to be in a room uh, in front of people that I have to, uh, to convince to help the people of Syria. Il faudrait que, à la fin de cette soirée, vous soyez tous suffisamment convaincus d'être des ambassadeurs pour convaincre à la fois le, les, les Canadiens de comprendre que ce qui se passe en Syrie est un véritable désastre humanitaire. What I hope from all of you is that at the end of the evening, you're going to become advocates for the people of Syria. You're going to go back to your community and to others across Canada and convince them that they need to help in this uh, international disaster. La première fois où j'ai entendu parler de ce qui se passait en Syrie, c'était au mois de septembre 2012. First time I heard about what was happening uh, in Syria was in September of 2012. Il y avait eu la révolution uh, en Tunisie. Elle avait duré quelques mois et Ben Ali était parti. The revolution happened in Tunisia first and Ben Ali was gone a few months later. Il y a eu la guerre en Libye et Gaddafi a été tué aussi en quelques mois. There was the war in Libya and Gaddafi as well. He was killed after a few months. Mubarak a été emprisonné et parti aussi en quelques mois. Mubarak was also uh, uh, exiled and imprisoned again after only a few short months. Tout le monde pouvait, pouvait penser que pour la Syrie ce serait pareil en quelques mois les choses seraient réglées. Everyone thought for Syria it would be the same, just another few months and everything would be resolved. Et bien ça fait maintenant quatre ans que cela dure. And now it's been four years and it's still ongoing. 200 000 morts. 200,000 dead. Un million de personnes qui sont uh, blessées. Over a million people who have been injured. 10 millions de personnes qui sont déplacées à l'intérieur de la Syrie ou à l'extérieur de la Syrie. 10 million people, half the country, have been displaced either inside the country or to neighboring countries. Et ça n'est pas fini puisqu'on compte à peu près 5000 morts par mois. And it's still not over. Every month, we add another 5,000 dead to the town. Et maintenant, les médias ne parlent pratiquement plus de la Syrie. On est occupé par d'autres choses. And now, we don't even hear the media talking much about Syria. It seems we're preoccupied with other things. Quand euh, je suis, quand j'ai entendu pour la première fois la Syrie, c'était un matin quand j'allais au travail à l'hôpital et un médecin, le docteur Banané, parlait de, des médecins qui en Syrie étaient tués, emprisonnés parce qu'ils soignaient des blessés lors des manifestations. The first time I heard about what was happening in Syria was from Dr. Banana. Banana. Um, and he was talking about how doctors uh, in Syria were being targeted, uh, imprisoned, and killed.